Hey guys, what is up? DiamondRBX here, and today I'm be showing you guys how to make a mushroom farm. So yeah, uh, as you can see, there's a bunch of mushrooms right here, and yeah, so I'm gonna be teaching you how to be doing this, and yeah, so um, and by the way, uh, just letting you guys know, my good friend Wadler actually came up with this design. Um, I helped a little bit with it, but he made most of it. So yeah, credits to him. Thank you, Wadler. So yeah, I'm just gonna show you guys how to do that right now. The first thing you want to do is uh, just have like an empty plot where you can buy like all of this. And you want to start with at least 100 million money. So yeah, you can do anything else like watch one of my other tutorials to get 100 million. But then after that, you come here and do this mushroom farm because it gets you a ton of money. So yeah. Um, but yeah, so you make sure you start with 100 million. And then what you want to do is you want to... Uh, get the mushroom farm right here for 100 million and you buy it and then you just place it right here all right and this is not a joke you actually need it because you need to get this mushroom cluster that cost 100 million right here and then you need to mine all of this right here this like grass and then uh if you don't believe me that uh for some reason don't believe me that you know mushrooms are actually overpowered um i'm just gonna sell this mushroom quickly 300k so yeah uh, mushrooms uh very op so yeah but yeah so um yeah once you've done this uh what you want to do is you want to buy 169 basic conveyors so it's a lot of conveyors trust me uh but believe me but uh you know it's all good you like you should have 100 million basically once you start and you should just keep getting money from whatever you had before so it's pretty much nothing and yeah um so now what you want to do is we want to build a 13 by 13 like conveyor platform but don't pause the video and do it yet because there's actually something you need to do in that that's really important so what you want to do is you want to place 13 conveyors like i, I don't know i'm quickly going to buy these plots right here because they will probably be useful okay and what we want to do is we want to place maybe around right here 13 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 like this all right and then you want to go forward so including this one we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay here we have 7 what you want to do is you want to make a line all the way right here to 13 all right and then you want to go this way so one two three four five six like this all right and then we just want to do this all right and then we'll just make this like some hollow box kind of and fill this in so now this should be 13 so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen so this is a 13 by 13 cube and then what we want to do is we want to fill this all in with conveyors And then this side as well and if you're wondering how I'm placing super fast uh, it is because I have an auto filter but so yeah and if you have one it saves a lot of time but yeah so now what you want to do is you want to count six in so one two three four five six and then count one more so seven like this all right and then we go to the middle right here and this one right here is the middle so we go up one two three like this all right and then what we want to do is right here we want to place a block and right here we want to place a block so just along this like weird line all right and then we want to mine out the middle like this so now there's like the hollow hole right here and then you can place this one conveyor back all right and then uh what we want to do quickly is we want to get up here all right and then on this side we want to place one well, just one two three four so it should be five so we have one two three four five like that all right and then we want to do the same thing on this side so one two three four five like this so this is five blocks one two three four five and then we want to go to a side and we want to add four blocks so one two three four on each side like this okay and once you've done this uh as you can see this is now a nice platform okay and now what you want to do is well this is like the expensive part you want to buy well i guess it's a little bit expensive but it's not too bad you want to buy a lot of observers so what i recommend doing is getting up to like a number like 50 and then just buying a bunch of these um this is probably more than you'll ever need but i'm just buying a ton uh there's no like exact amount i guess that i know because you could keep going up forever with this but you want the same amount of block breakers as you have um uh, what are these called observers 
so yeah um but then what we're gonna do is we're going to place an observer on this like long end like this all right and it doesn't matter which one it could be this side as well and then what you want to do is you want to go and place a bunch of observers like this all right as you can see they already have like kind of a clock right here but then what you want to do is you want to turn around like this so that so this side has the green end right here and then you want to turn so that a green end of this observer will be here and as you can see this creates a clock like this all right and you want to do this same exact thing on this side right here like this just like that and as you can see it is now a clock and if you still don't get it uh, basically you have this green like right here on the observer and then you go to the other side and place it like this and now you see the greens right here if I just place another observer right here and mind this one you see it makes a little clock and this right here is super useful and by the way this is the little part that I figured out um, for like the water part that saves you a little bit of money and is also very useful so yeah but then uh, what you want to do now is you can place a bunch of miners like this so that they're mining inside like this you want to do this right here just like that all right and then you want to mine or place all of these like mushroom blocks right here and then you want to mine this part and this part right here so it should be like an eye with three on each side like this and if you're wondering why it's because one uh, we've me and Wadler have noticed that it's more efficient for some reason when nothing grows here and you're not mining it anyways so you're just saving two dirt that you can just place somewhere else like like this all right and yeah and then um, to get more of this stuff right here um, basically what you need is you need a a farm of any type like this um, I'm just gonna switch it to pineapple like this so I'm gonna buy nine pineapples um, and then you just want to get a comp composter like this all right and then you just want to place this right here all right and then under the composter um, you want to get a conveyor and then you want to get something called a soil infuser you want to place the composter or I mean uh, observer observer oh my god a conveyor right there you want to place this like soil inf infuser there and then you want to get a uh, a chest and you just want to place the chest there all right and now uh, as you can see you're getting a bunch of this stuff hopefully so yeah okay so this right here is my uh, my mushroom grass maker uh, so basically it's just a uh, just some normal little like farm for like pineapples right here it goes into a composter and then it gets filtered out and then the fertilizer goes into my inventory and then the uh, soil goes straight into a soil infuser right here and then uh, it goes into a chest which goes into my inventory so it's, it's a really easy and simple thing and uh, then what you want to do is you just want to make a bunch of these little eye things right here like this and uh, these right here are pretty useful and then you'll notice down here um, it drops all of these mushrooms but it also can drop mushroom clusters and this is basically how you get free infinite mushrooms so yeah um, that's how you do that and then down here um, I'm going to or you guys should also do this you should place a big wall around here like this all right and then uh, so you've already built this side and then you're wondering what to do with this, with this side. Well, it's the exact same thing. So you just want to place all of these um, observers right here. All right. And then you do the same exact thing right here. You place oops, a bunch of observers. And then you just place another one right here. All right. And then again, we just place all of these like blocks, mining blocks right here. Just like that. All right. And then we just want to place all of these. Oops. Okay. We want to place all of these right here, these mushroom blocks, I guess. All right, and then, um, yeah, and then down here, again, we just want to pick up all of the mushrooms. We can just place them over here. Okay, and then uh, pretty much you can just stack this. So right on top of these right here, these miners, you can place more of these right here. So like this, so you can see I'm able to place a few at a time, one at a time, like that. All right, and then we just place that there like that and then we can just stack and just place these miners right here like that okay and then we can just go like this
this. Boom. Just like that. Okay. And, um, just like that, we have enough to... Oops. I probably did... Actually... Okay, actually, make sure you guys actually place these right, because I noticed I actually placed it wrong, because I remember you actually need to have two spaces in between, like, each little eye, kind of, like this. Oops. So you can see we have to leave two spaces, like that, pretty much. So you can see there's two spaces, and then pretty much, uh, you leave two spaces because, uh, you place the mushroom there, and then it places right here, and then if you place another one right here, it places here, and you can see how that works. Um, and yeah, pretty much you can stack this as high as you want, like this, um, and then you can even do it on this side, you know, both sides, and it can get really big, but then down here, obviously you need to place stuff, so place stuff down here quickly I'm just going to block this input and then I'm just going to place something right here okay so for this right here there are two things you can do okay so the first thing you can do is you can get a filter block and you can place the filter block like right here and then you can get a it's over here you can get one of these big mushroom clusters and then you can put it on one side um, as I did right here you can see like this and you can place a chest here and then right here um, I'm just quickly gonna buy a bunch of conveyors you can place a little line that goes like this and then you can just place a cash block to sell all of them so quickly if I were to activate it it would look like this so you can see all the mushrooms go through but then the cluster goes straight to my inventory like it is right now so now I can just go and place all these clusters like this, and then there's still this like constant stream of um, mushrooms going straight into my inventory. And that's method one. And this method is if you, I guess, want to rebirth or don't want to get a lot of money. I don't know. Th this is kind of like if you don't have a ton of money already. But um, then the next thing you can do is you can, well actually you can keep this basic setup, okay, with like the mushroom like the mustard mustard the <laughs> mushroom cluster goes here <coughs> keep this and then what you want to do is you want to buy you want to buy four filter blocks so not including this one oh, wait no including this one so you want to buy like three more okay we only need three filter blocks i guess right here um and then basically um what we want to do is we want to get every type of mushroom like this let me just quickly go collect all the types of mushrooms. Alright, like that. Alright, and then what we want to do is we want to place, uh, or press F on each filter, like this, so that each mushroom is kind of, has its own, like, little filter area, like this. So you can see purples go here, reds go here, greens go here, yellows go here, and blues go here. And you're probably thinking, like, well, that's pretty useless, because aren't you just going to sell them? Well, no, not exactly, because... Um, I'm quickly just gonna get a conveyor, and then what you want to do is, since there are five colors right here, you want to buy 500 million or five mushroom compressors like this. Okay. And now what we want to do is we want to go like this. We want to place one conveyor like this on this end. And we want to go out like this and two like that. Out two like this. So you can see the path that they are taking right now like this. All right, and then on the very end, you just want to place all these right here. And then you just want to do the same thing right here. So like this, and like that. All right, and then we just want to place the conveyors or compactors right here, like that. So now you can see there are something, or there's something called mushroom blocks coming out. And mushroom blocks, um, hold up, let me quickly get an example up. So normal mushrooms over here, sell for 300k mushroom blocks however sell for about 3 million well for me at least and that makes them very good so you can make this setup right here this simple little setup and it can get you millions more money so you can see if i go like this now you can see maybe i'm not getting as much coming out as here but i'm making a lot more money so yeah and then again you can stack this as high as you want and yeah, it can be pretty overpowered.
so I just finished this and oh my goodness look at my money in the left it is going bonkers like if you're at 6 billion and you're gaining 0 0.01 a second that's like 10 million a second hold up let me press c like look at the money in the top right of the screen i'm getting well over like 10 million a second technically right now so this is really really good so yeah if you're trying to get money this is the strat you want to do so yeah um thank you guys for watching and hope you enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe and see ya